beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-October right through to mid-November 2021. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that there are scammers about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for any of those things, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Let's move straight on to your reading, my beautiful Capricorn. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds, and let us begin. Okay, so Jupiter and Mercury will be direct from the 18th of October, which means there is better luck and also better communication. So expect an easier time when it comes to career and life in general, um, because that is a time for uh, Jupiter expanding good fortune and opportunity upon us. Uh, so uh, expect some good things to come your way. The Hunter's Moon is also um, towards the end of the month. It will be in Aries. So that is a powerful, I'll just go and get that card in a moment, a powerful fiery energy um, in terms of going after goals, dreams, and accomplishing great things that you have set out to do uh, so it is about flushing out opportunity oh they want me to go one more flushing out opportunity as the year uh, sort of comes to uh, closing of course we're heading on into we're in the fall now so um, let me just go and get that card for you oh wow I'm loving this we've got the blue whale so opportunities arising uh, from the deep there I do feel like there's an energy of out of the blue there is an accomplishment of something here. Um, so we've got, it's number two, and when uh, you got number two, it's the high priestess. So something intuitively that you've been sort of working towards or sort of even gravitating towards, it is being accomplished, okay? It's almost like you're breaking through, you know, a barrier or the surface, you know, because if you think about the blue whale, it's between worlds, the, the big blue sea, the deep there, and then the coming up for air. So I feel like you are making some sort of breakthrough and you're going up a notch, going up a scale here. And it says unity, resonance, magnificent, magnificence, and mastery. Beautiful words there, magnificence, mastery. So that is something that you are accomplishing here. Uh, you are at the top of your game or you're rising. I feel like you are going to be noticed for your true uh, sort of... Um, talent, intelligence, drive, whatever it is, you're a force to be reckoned with is what I really get with this card. Um, and I feel like, yeah, mastery of um, whatever it is that you do. I also feel like you're working on a hunch here. There's something here about a hunch um, and it pays off. It brings a lot of happiness there, but this is a breakthrough, so I'm loving that energy. Uh, we've also got tree frog, beautiful. Whenever you think about frogs, they leap into uh, you know the uh, success or leap into uh, the unknown, uh, which basically I feel like this is a calculated sort of move though, um, and I do feel like it is very very successful. It brings a lot of accomplishment energy, uh, tree frog energy. It says soul songs. This is about being on the level of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Really matching vibrations. Uh, whenever you think about uh, like Einstein, for example, even though he was a man of science and talked, uh, you know, about uh, lots of different, you know, nuclear fusion and all of those things. Uh, I feel very much like, uh, and I hope I'm getting this right, but he also used to talk about uh, sort of matching the, vib the vibration of what it is that you want to achieve um, and calling it in because everything is energy. So it is also, you know, we all have moments of feeling doubt, of course, and that, that drops our vibrations and our frequencies, but it's about noticing that it's okay to have those moments and then get back into, you know, your doing energy again, but, you know, having compassion with yourself during those tough times. So I do feel like you're about to take a major leap forward, and I feel you're matching the vibration of what it is that you want, that soul song energy. It says meditation, creation, rebirth. It's almost like you're back. You're back in business or you're thriving. If you've had a bit of a lull recently or lost your motivation, your drive, or that energy that sort of pulls you through, uh, if you felt a little bit defeated 
at times along your journey. I feel like you're getting this energy to propel you forward. So I'm quite excited about that. I feel like you've actually overcome quite a lot of struggle or uh, challenges to get here as well because it's number uh, 41. When you reduce it, four plus one is uh, five, which is a number that often represents challenges uh, that have to be overcome. But your determination uh, to sort of leapfrog, I guess, pardon uh, the words, but over those challenges, or I feel like you're really smashing through those obstacles and actually going forward. Um, I feel because the Hierophant is number uh, five as well, I feel like you've learned a lot from those challenges and I feel like you uh, almost have gained so much knowledge that you have become someone who could uh, either advise others on a path or you're, you're someone who has so much knowledge or you've put yourself on courses online or you know maybe uh, back to school, college, something like that. You've put yourself through something or you've just learned from the school of life. You know, that's a, a tough enough school as it is uh, in order to sort of make your way. I feel like it's something that you've done, you've accomplished all by yourself and you should really be um, proud of yourself is what I'm getting. Ooh, and finally, we got Mountain Gorilla. Okay, look at that. Look at that intensity in those eyes. Beautiful. Okay, there is a world in those eyes. You're, it's magnetic. Okay, I feel like that's what you are as well. It's number 12, which is hangman energy. Okay, so this is something that you've worked hard on. You've gained a lot of wisdom and you've sacrificed so much to get to where you are. And I feel like now there's a new perspective. Either you're thinking about going in another direction or you're changing something about what it is that you do in order to streamline your energy so you're you're only putting your energy where you feel it is necessary uh they give me a sentence i love this sentence um work smarter not harder work smarter not harder so if that is something that resonates with you uh or that's something that you typically say maybe it's a mantra that you have for yourself i feel like that's something that's really going to be uh relevant in the next four to five weeks for you it says here reverence contemplation community inner calm Okay, you know that you got this. I feel like you're surrendering to the process. You may network or find uh, the right people to come towards you, uh, build a community, for example, or maybe even think about partnering up in business with other people. Um, and it's gonna bring you a sense of peace, that you're protected, but also that you've, you're strong enough to endure it. Now, if you think about, you know, Mountain Gorilla, oh my gosh, the power that they have, they're so peaceful, they sit there, but they also exert their dominance when the moment is right. So I feel like you are being powerful, you're being really successful. When the moment is right, you're capitalizing on something. So it's almost like, you know, if you think about this energy, all these creatures, you know, the whale, you know, silently and skillfully just goes through the, the sea really peacefully, but then takes that really huge leap above the surface and really sort of breaks through a glass ceiling or something like that. I feel like that's what's happening in your career. Same with tree frog, if you really think about it, you know, just sits there really peaceful, then all of a sudden takes a sudden leap there. So I feel like it's a sudden sort of breakthrough. And the mountain gorilla sits there, knows its inner power, knows that it's going to be successful or knows that it has that inner dominance, then all of a sudden, straight into action when is necessary. So I feel like that is the power of your career uh, at this moment in time. Now let's get the overall energy for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding their career? Um, we have the Temperance card. So that's about balance, harmony, peace, weighing up your options. And, ooh, okay. We got the Devil card in the center. We got the Chariot, okay interesting energy there for the devil to show up now that can be about something that you felt has been holding you back maybe you're detaching yourself from that energy capricorn i mean capricorn is typically represented by the devil i mean the devil is a capricorn card so we're going to pull a card on it and see what it is that you feel has been holding you back perhaps you know you've been weighing up your options on something and you know you may have been overthinking a little bit and maybe anxiety has maybe kept you from making a real radical change there but let's see um now they just said to me, Rizwan, Rizwan, Rizwan. Now I get either that's a name, Rizwan, Rizwan. Uh, I feel like it might be a name. Either it's a name of a person, maybe a surname or a place name. 
Um, but it may mean something in someone's language, Rizwan. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. It's not going to uh, resonate for everyone, of course. Uh, if it does not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. Uh, and they're also showing me spinach. <laughs> now, I guess those are spinach leaves. So either you are currently um, preparing spinach, but when you think about spinach, you know, it gives a lot of iron, but it makes you stronger. So maybe it's you recognizing that you're stronger than you think in a situation. I'm not really sure, so please take it as it resonates. Uh, if you're preparing spinach though as well, then there's something definitely in this reading for you as well. Temperance card, this is your protagonist energy. You're you're not making any really far, you know, um, fast moves until you've really thought about it, okay? And you see this energy here, that bird of prey, you got your eye on something. So either you're waiting and watching, a similar energy came up in the Gemini reading where it was like waiting and watching for the right moment. Uh, I feel like you are weighing up your priorities and sort of examining what it is that you truly want to do. You're being patient as you make the decisions. You don't want to rush this because it is a life-changing moment, I feel, for you. Uh, I feel like you've had a lot of patience in your career, um, but I feel like, you know, it's almost like waiting, watching, getting rid of the fear, and then all of a sudden... The moment where you just speed forward. The chariot card is a success card, but it's also about gaining momentum, things going faster, you know, sudden movement. So it's just like these animals that have come up there for you. I feel like it's been that moment of calm, trying to moderate the and temperate the waters that you're navigating at this moment in time, and then all of a sudden, sudden move. Okay? Um, so the temperance card, uh, I feel like you're trying to keep that level of, you know, balance um, and Yeah, I feel like you are, so for example, you may not be spending too much money, you may be trying to streamline, making sure that, uh, you know, uh, you don't spend too much, you don't spend too little. Uh, I feel like you're aligning yourself with your purpose, okay? And I feel like it's really interesting because the way that the cards go is like temperance card comes first, it's number 14, and then we go straight into the devil, okay? So it's almost like um, looking at something that maybe you're tempted to do, but maybe there's fear, uh, holding you back or there was something that you really needed to think about that's causing anxiety. As you can see, those claws are like pulling down that person's face, showing the anxiety, but you're trying to temper it to your feelings. And if you follow your heart, there's going to be peace. Okay, I feel like you're definitely rising in terms of your career um, and or whatever it is that is a goal of yours. If you're if you're not working, for example, you know, maybe about your, your goals in terms of, you know, um, your hobbies, keeping yourself active. You may feel a little bit like uh, sometimes you're bored and maybe you feel like, where is my heart? Where does it uh, lie? Where, what, what am I gravitating towards doing? But the devil card can be about procrastination on something. You don't want to think about it for too long because sometimes you miss an opportunity. Now, I always say there's no such thing as a missed opportunity because what is meant for you will never, ever pass you by. Either it comes back around again or it goes, it was never meant for you, and the next opportunity comes is the one that's right for you. But I feel like with the devil card, there's, you know, I do feel like there's an unmasking, being authentic. And Capricorn, I don't think I've ever met a Capricorn that's been not authentic. I always feel like you're super honest. Uh, that's been my experience with Capricorns. Um, so let's pull a card on this devil card and see what's coming through, because it can be about attachment. Either you're attached or worried and, and you, you're, you've got a certain idea of money in your mind and, you know, you may be allowing your decisions to be based on uh, finances. Now, of course, we've all got to pay bills. I'm never, ever going to tell you that money is evil, okay? Because money used in the right hands, always positive experience. It's, it's an exchange. Your work ethic for a payment. It's a, it's a reciprocal exchange. It's important. It's necessary to live. But if it becomes our sole for focus, thinking about the money, 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 and we don't care about how we feel about the job or how we treat other people, then of course it becomes a force for the negative. So uh, let me see what's going on there with that devil card. So for example, there may be two opportunities because the temperance card is showing two energies here, turning one thing into another. So you may be trying to balance, maybe you've got two streams of income. One maybe is paying a lot more money, but it's not something that your heart is set on, okay? So you may be thinking, I've got to do this job until such time as I can, you know, the, the finances grow in what my heart's desire is. So let me just see, because they're showing me uh, two, like a duality kind of energy. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Ace of Swords, freeing your mind. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Freeing your mind on something. Maybe there was some overthinking. The Hermit. Solitary energy, deep thinker. Okay, it really is about thinking too, yeah, 
don't think too long is what they're how's it like see three of pentacles in the reverse they're, they're showing me here that there's something here that you got to do alone or that you are doing alone okay and it may have thrown up some fears for you and you may actually you don't want to make the wrong decision so and you may feel like you don't have support in that so you're trying to really weigh up your options and you know you want to push through it um like, I mean, the Ace of Swords is a major breakthrough, but it's also about clear mind and, you know, uh, freeing your, your mind up so that you can see things super clearly before you take action on something. Swords tend to be about action, but also first thinking about it. So if you've had a new idea that you've been a bit conflicted about or you've been weighing it up, you don't want to make the wrong move. You want to, don't want to make a wrong judgment on it. You know, the Hermit says you may be looking inward. OK, trying to work out what is your truth? What is it you feel um, about this situation? Is this a place in your career that you're happy in? If not, what can you do about it? If you've got a new idea, run with it. You know, you're given new ideas for a reason. Aces are often gifts from the universe. So if all of a sudden there's like a plot twist idea in your mind, where you're like, what if I did that? It's not there for no reason, Capricorn. It's often guides, um, you know, speaking saying, whispering to you to give you ideas so to help you along your journey. So I would always pay close attention to your intuition. The Hermit says you are, you know, cutting yourself off briefly to really, it's only a temporary time out to really think about the journey ahead, but also recoup your energy before you take action on something. The Eight of Cups says you're walking away from anything that's unfam you know, unfulfilling, but also anything that, you know, isn't authentic. So I'm still picking up this energy of you letting go and seeking deeper meaning deeper, you know, what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of your path? Okay. And the three pentacles in the reverse really does say that, uh, you know, perhaps you're either, you know, disbanding from a team or you feel like you don't have any support in this. Uh, you may feel a little bit worried that if you're walking away from something, um, that perhaps there'll be no money or perhaps you'll get less money than usual, okay? I do feel like there's expansion here because the chariot card is a success card. So the... The challenge for the next like four to five weeks here for you is to sort of disassociate yourself with fear. Now, easier said than done, um, because we all uh, have moments of uh, worrying about the journey ahead. Uh, the devil card, I feel like you're seeing things clearly. So if there's something been clouded there or kept you stagnant, I feel like that stagnant energy, you're going to work through that energy and you're going to move forward. OK, the chariot card says you're going to thrive and you may be even on a physical journey. You may be literally uh, upping and leaving, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, traveling to a new state, maybe going to a new job that requires travel, or you're just actually physically taking a new job. You may even be crossing borders or something like that in order to go to a new job there. Uh, so the chariot is also, you know, it's a movement forward and they are showing me, uh, they're showing me borders right now. Borders. Like, you know, like checkpoint borders. So it's almost like going to another country, but they're not showing me like overseas. So I'm not sure if you're going into a border country or maybe you're thinking about emigrating and you're worried about border control or so. I mean, the world is changing, of course. Um, at the moment, it's, there's a lot of restrictions around the world at the moment. So um, you may be thinking about these things or worried about that, but I feel like you move through that energy and you are successful. Also, the, the chariot card, if you're not physically moving, this is you meeting any of the challenges that you've had and smashing through those glass ceilings and moving up. I feel like you having a major breakthrough here and you're motivated to succeed and accomplish. And the chariot says there is victory here at the end of something that you've been patiently sort of waiting for the right moment to achieve or break through on. OK, so let's go and see the details of what is coming towards you, my beautiful Capricorn. Thank you so much. Spirit guys, my angels, can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding their career? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see for the next four to five weeks? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Um, now, just to let you know, I'm using, um, okay, and that is it. Thank you. I'm using the uh, Mystical Moments Tarot by Catherine Will Stein. I'm only reading the upright in this deck. I was using the White Witch Tarot as your faded energy. That is by Mayor de Oust. And the first set of cards there is The Secret Language of Animals. And that is by Chip Richards. Oh, wow. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's really big moves here for you. Really big moves. I'm seeing huge action happening in your career that's really positive. Um, 
And it's interesting because the Eight of Swords actually starts in the, the position with the Temperance card. You're trying to temper uh, your fears or um, looking at where you may feel stuck in a rut there. Um, oh, we got a little bit of energy joining from the candle. Uh, well, from Spirit, but the candle is being moved uh, with the light there. So they're indicating... Okay, they're just showing me something. One moment, please. Okay. Now, this is definitely not going to resonate for everyone, okay? They're showing me someone looking into a crystal ball. Um, so either that's you, uh, you know, maybe you're moving things around and you have a crystal ball. They're, they're showing me like a little round ball. Now, it doesn't have to be like a crystal ball that you bought for scrying or seeing or anything like that. It can be like, um, you know, those globes, like a snow globe thing. That's it's, it's like a crystal ball, but it's got stuff inside. Uh, because I can't, I, there's something, there's like a little picture that I'm seeing, but because it's, whenever you look in a crystal ball, sometimes the um, uh, s surroundings tend to be upside down or slightly as skewed, depending on how you're looking at it. So they're showing me something in there. Can't really see it. You know, I, what I really want to say, it is a dark blue kind of square-ish type thing in the center but that's all I can't quite see so either you are looking at like a snow globe or a crystal ball or something like that please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone I mean maybe you just bought one for someone as a gift or um I mean you're preparing for some sort of gift holiday you know I'm not really sure so please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone okay so I'll leave it like that uh, maybe it's I mean, it could be that you're wor wondering about your future, but I mean, everybody does that. So uh, I don't feel it's that. I think it's more on the physical side of you seeing that in your surroundings, in your mind, in your eye line at this moment in time. Anyway, let's move on. The Eight of Swords is uh, worry, fear, anxiety. And, uh, you know, it is often a card that represents uh, a self-imposed restriction, feeling like you're stuck in something. So when you get an Eight of Swords, Spirit is kind of asking yourself to release yourself from denial, see things as they truly are. If you're not happy, you're not stuck. You can move, okay? Uh, if you feel like uh, this situation that you're in in terms of your career is draining you um, and your heart's no longer in it, then you have the power to change your destiny and you deserve to change things release all the illusions and say goodbye to anything that is making you feel clouded or making the vision that you have um, for your career. Um, if it's trying to sort of point you in another direction, as it were, even tweak a plan, I feel like, you know, you can come out of your comfort zone and do that. It doesn't mean that you're not going to achieve the exact goal that you set out to do. It may just mean that there's something that you're not seeing, that you could change something about your, your plans um, and, you know, have courage to sort of be honest that something may not be working at this moment in time. It's almost like saying, don't attach yourself to the final... How can I put that? Yes, yeah, don't... It's, I feel more it's... Don't attach yourself to the journey because, you know, if you go, I want to achieve this here and I'm starting in this position here, your goal is to get here. Most people, we want to go straight. We want to go straight to the desired destination. But sometimes spirit says or the universe says, well, actually, it will be way more interesting in your life if you went over here first and then maybe you went here and then maybe you took a step back because you need to revisit that lesson or you need to go there and then you go to the end space so i feel very much like don't get attached to the journey because i feel like there's a lot of exciting opportunities coming towards you you got a very faded energy happening in the next four to five weeks a lot of elevation happening and a lot of action like major life-changing action happening in the next four to five weeks so the eight of swords says you know release yourself from any fear uh, release yourself uh, you can release yourself it is it is hard, I know that Capricorn, because we all get a little bit nervous about things, especially when they mean so much to us, and especially when you feel like there's a lot at stake. Now, you may be working in a toxic environment, for example, or you may feel like there are forces in your environment that are making you feel a little bit anxious and you're having to make some life-changing decisions uh, in terms of your workspace or your career. Um, I feel like there is some news that comes on in. Destiny sort of enters the situation and changes things around for a really positive, life-changing experience. So, I mean, it's nerve-wracking, whatever it is that you're feeling at the moment in terms of your career, uh, if you've been struggling. Um, or, But I feel like 
you elevate. Uh, also, the Eight of Wands, it's a very important card. It doesn't just mean that you're taking action and that there's some changes happening and, you know, there's some wonderful news coming on in. The most important element of this card in particular, okay, I'm just going to put that image right there. They're showing me something. I'll, I'll put it right there. I'll come back to that in a moment. The, mo the most important energy with this card is protection, okay? You're elevating and you're being protected against the storm. So as you can see, that figure there is like gliding way up in the sky and she's got many umbrellas. Now umbrellas, they represent protection in tarot, but also in life. You know, you go out in the storm, you put an umbrella up to sort of protect you against the elements. So I feel like there is a lot of like uh, guides around you at this time protecting you through any thing that you feel is negative. Now this could be a toxic energy at your workspace or it could be um, restrictions placed on you that you feel are unnecessary or in some way making you feel making you feel vulnerable and taking away your freedom there. Um, the Eight of Wands says you're protected at this time and you will get some news that's really positive that actually helps you through this energy with that Devil card. So I do feel like even though it seems to be like a bit of a nerve-wracking start in this energy, I feel like there's a real positive ex sort of outcome. Uh, the Eight of Wands says that there is changes. Expect to go faster, okay? The things start to speed up and you will be celebrating a swift change. Now, again, it is a travel card. Okay, so either you are moving from your workspace or you're transforming the way that you work. Maybe you're thinking about working somewhere else or being nomadic in terms of your working. Because they're showing me, well, they're showing me two words, nomadic and the second word is territories. Nomadic territories. So I don't know what that means for you, nomadic. I mean, nomadic is to live a sort of freelance lifestyle. Maybe you could work anywhere in the world. So perhaps you're wondering where to next if you're lucky enough to have built that sort of structure for yourself. Uh, territories, hmm, territories can mean, well, they showed me borders earlier. So maybe that's, well, that's clearly relevant. Hmm. Territories, so that could mean where do you feel like you belong or where do you feel like you could settle or anchor yourself? Hmm territories. Now when I think of the word, root word to be territorial, that's about where you dominate, where you feel like you could thrive or something like that. So um, maybe you are finding yourself elevating within a either company structure or, or even if you're working for yourself, Capricorn, and you're wondering where do you fit in or how do you exert your dominance in a situation and not in the negative sense, but in the inner power, you know, knowing that you can thrive and be successful and smash through any glass ceilings or any sort of um, restrictions that have been placed upon you. So I, I do feel like that's a very positive experience uh, for you, recognizing your inner power, that you can overcome whatever is trying to hold you back or um, has a level of negativity attached to it. Now, the outcome here, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a really positive turning point. The Wheel of Fortune represents good luck, also represents destiny and fate intervening in a situation in order to uh, sort of help you um, and give you good karma. This is your luck changing. This is a destined change. It was meant to happen. Okay, so a lot of abundance coming your way. Now, the Wheel of Fortune often is about life cycle. Sometimes we're up in life, sometimes we're down. You know, that's just the way that life is, you know. Um, but I feel like following your heart, there's going to be elements of divine timing in the next couple of weeks that you're like, Oh, that's why that did not work out because this was always meant to work out and this is so much better. I feel like you're going to start to put all the pieces together like a puzzle. Things, it's almost like all the cogs in the wheel, literally like that, are starting to work together and you start to see your destiny. It's almost like your destiny becomes apparent to you and you're like winning at life is what I get. I get true chills right here. Um, now the chariot card, either you're buying a car as well that goes with this, I'm not really sure, um, but we got the chariot card, victory, wheel of fortune, success, good fortune, knight of swords, radical changes, action, truth, a lifestyle change. So really exciting things happening in your positive sort of outcome space. So I'm really excited for you here. Um, I, I do feel like something that you've been working really hard on takes a corner and actually a really positive one. Knight of Swords, as you can see this Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords tends to be someone who is, says what they gonna, does what they say they're gonna do and also you know brings radical changes and takes anything out of their life that gets in the way of their happiness. That uh, person here is painting, removing the cloud. 
okay because that has the potential to get rid of uh, the sun so it has a potential to get in the way of the sun and scupper their happiness so i do feel like you know you're making radical changes towards uh seeking your happiness and i feel with this knight of swords that either you're opening yourself up to a new way of thinking you're broadening your your perspective you're reacting to a situation differently whether it's the plan that you've got, you, you're adapting to a new way of doing something or a new way of behaving or um, taking action on something. And that is your success because you're being fluid. Okay. You're being able to move with the times and destiny is bringing you in something here that allows you to peacefully move into your prosperity is what I feel. Um, I really feel like it's worth it. Whatever this is, it's really worth it beautiful energy now let me see if there's anything here that you need to be aware of um let's go to this deck here if you need anything that you need to be aware of that you know could be any nasty surprises or anything like that especially since we got a devil card presenting thank you so much spirit guys going angels anything that my beautiful capricorn need to be aware of we got the chariot in the reverse interesting we got the eight of swords in the reverse they're giving the same message i love this we got the hang panda you're not gonna wait anymore we got four of pentacles of security here and we got the three of wands this is something you're doing all by yourself now either you're you could be buying a home or you could be uh you know um saving enough money to buy a home space or something like that because we got the four of pentacles there which is about you know security long-term security and you know sometimes it represents you know uh buying a home or some sort of uh, space that you feel is your sanctuary so perhaps you're getting some really good news on that and you feel like you haven't been able to do it for a while now it's interesting that the chariot is over the temperance and the eight of swords if you continue to overthink something or if you let fear get in the way or even impatience get in the way of things you'll find yourself like losing direction or feel that you uh, feel like giving up in something so you know when the moment presents itself take action have those animal instincts when you feel that moment intuitively is right to capitalize on something just go for it okay the chariot card um, is in the reverse there to highlight that you know you have the potential to move forward but overthinking in fear will actually be the, the downfall as it were okay now we've all got to make a calculated decision i'm not talking about that you got to take some time out and say what is it i want how do i proceed forward how do i get what i want how do i plan what i want what's the next move all of those things are important but as soon as you've done that you go right i'm ready let's take action now the eight of swords i love that the devil card the eight of wands and the eight of swords we're starting to see synchronicities that's three eights there see three eights two chariots interesting um, when you start to see levels of synchronicity like that uh, it's changing uh, things are changing for you now they're showing me three eights all together and they're telling me that that means there's uh, money coming your way so I would look that up I want to make sure that is right for myself as well I'll check that out after the reading but 888 they're saying uh, financially there's some really good news coming on in here for your in terms of your money so eight of swords in the reverse is about freeing your mind okay it's basically saying you will be stuck if you remain in eight of swords energy so eight of swords needs to be reversed freedom this is you either like liberating yourself from a toxic work situation or liberating yourself from fear and going for whatever it is that you want you could even be going because they're showing me this motorbike <laughs> it's like even though it's in the reverse there they're showing it to me in the upright right now it's almost like the great escape now they're literally showing me the actor in the great escape oh my gosh what was his name really, really famous i can see his face really tanned um white blonde i can't even tell you what his name is and i'm going to kick myself afterwards but anyway uh it'll probably spirit if you could give me the name of this actor that'd be amazing You're giving me a song okay uh, no, they're not giving me the name at the time and so I can't I can't give it to you if they give it to me I will give it to you but the great escape maybe you feel like you're great you're escaping something that has been very toxic or very forceful is trying to scupper your freedom I mean there's some news coming on in here that allows you to elevate and leave the situation so I feel like freeing of the mind as well freeing of fear uh, allows you to move forward and what we've got here is hang panda in the reverse now this hang panda in reverse can talk about 
indecision, but also about missed opportunities. If you feel like there's something that is a missed opportunity, Capricorn, please remember that whatever is meant for you really will not pass you by. It will not force you to be who you're not meant to be, okay? It will accept you and your skills and appreciate who you are for what you are and what you have to offer, not what they can dominate over you in that devil energy. Uh, so just so you're aware. But the hang panda, I feel, you know, you're not waiting. You're not, you're not procrastinating or anything like that. I feel like you've sacrificed so much for this moment. I feel like you're surrendering to the process and you're just going for it, okay? Um, now also we got the four of pentacles there. So this is security. You are secure in your decisions. And I also feel with that four of pentacles that you're aligning yourself with Sorry, I do apologize. There's someone, they've got their, there's someone here with a, clearly a new motorcycle and they just drive up and down this road just because it's straight. They must come around here just to do that because they don't live in this road. Um, uh, so I do apologize for the loud noise there. Yeah, they're really indicating that there's, there's a lucky element here. There's going to be a lot of growth in the Four of Pentacles for you. Um, this is something that you can see growing in the future, okay? Um, so I feel like you're building a very solid financial foundation. The Three of Wands here in the reverse, uh, this is an element here of um, something that you planned has a setback, okay? So I'm just going to see what that is. So again, I feel like they're telling me, you know, don't be attached to the journey because there may be something you wanted to, as you know, imagine what we had before, you know, you may want to go straight to here, but you have to go over here and then you may have to go back or something like that it's for a reason so let me just see that and also the three of wands can mean that you're doing this all by yourself there's no creative team behind you, you you've achieved everything that you you're achieving all by yourself can you please clarify oh my god the third time you get the chariot and it literally bounced out of the deck okay so success that's you know you're getting the chariot again so they're indicating if you've been feeling stuck, if you've been stuck in a rut, feeling like nothing's going on and you've been patiently waiting, patiently working, determined to succeed, don't worry. There is major action. You are about to break your bad luck and you're about to move forward. Plans that were scuppered or delayed, they will move forward. You know, this says something that you thought was going to happen has a setback, but not for long because you got the chariot right there, which means you will move forward and you will be victorious. So... I see a lot of success coming towards you, a lot of movement forward. And, you know, there is a directional change, though. I do feel like there's a fork in the road for you. Uh, typically in the chariot, there is a decision point. OK, and so I do feel like you've, you've got and it's either two streams of income. I feel I keep getting this energy like throughout a couple of the readings where it's alternative streams of income. So there may be something that you typically do. And then you got something else on the side going. And I feel like both start to bubble up and bring a lot of good fortune. But I also feel like there's a decision, like you're making changes in terms of movement in your world. Um, and it just brings so much happiness, so much joy and so much success. Uh, so if it's two streams of income or more than two, maybe it's three or four, because they're actually showing me the number four right now. Oh my gosh, maybe the four of pentacles is, each one of them is a stream of income ideas that you've thought of that you're putting into action and they will all bear fruit so i mean i see a lot of elevation in your reading i uh, know just give me a name michael michael so if your name is michael there's something in this message for you it's not going to resonate for everyone um i mean it could be someone that you're working with uh with if you are working in a team or it could be someone that you're thinking about going into business with or perhaps um Perhaps you hear the name Michael as you're listening to this reading or or you're reading a passage of text and you see the name Michael. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Again, if it does not resonate for you, it does not mean it's not your reading. Now, we got a lot of success so in movement forward. So I'm really positive for you. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. Guardian Angels, can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? We got air. Okay. It says logical, curious, social. New ideas can be formulated freely when intellect meets discussion. Okay, so whatever it is you're thinking about doing or taking action on, it is going to be very, very successful. Okay, I feel like 
it's, it feels like freedom. That's what it feels like for me. I just keep feeling this element of freeing yourself up from something that you've been stuck in for a while. And there's really positive movement forward. I mean, it's number 32. When you reduce it, three plus two is the number of challenges. Okay. And I feel like you are coming up for air, just like that um, whale breaking through something. So um, something that you're curious about, maybe you got a new focus in some way. But yeah, expect lots of really important conversations, a really important message that comes your way, intelligent um, sort of discussions that allow you to elevate. I see you thriving. Okay, so maybe you're going to be called in for a meeting and you're going to be given a surprise promotion or something like that, something you were not expecting or a surprise, uh, you know, leadership position that you've been working really hard on. You felt you're being not appreciated for your skills and you maybe thought about leaving that all of a sudden things change. Uh, so... They just said on a dime that so on a dime. OK, so on a dime, for those of you who would not know, on a dime means things change on a dime, you know, on the flick of a coin. So maybe you've been doing things like that. Uh, maybe you feel like on a flip of a, a, a coin, things are changing or maybe I mean, maybe you have. a. I don't imagine you would be like looking at a dime right now. <laughs> um, or maybe you've been doing something where you're like, uh, you know, when you flick a coin and you're like, yes or no, should I do this? You've been leaving it up to fate. But that, that is fate. And you've got the, the fortune favors the brave kind of card energy with that wheel of fortune. So I do feel like expect a lucky break here. Things paying off that you've been working really hard for and things working out exactly the way that you'd hoped for as well. OK, there may be a little bit of a detour or a plot twist that happens, but I feel like you're going to overcome any obstacle or challenge and move straight to the jackpot, okay? I'm just going to get you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Don't eat it. Please, God. Okay, so we have loving this. You know, a lot, whenever I get the Wheel of Fortune, I tend to get a lucky cat, okay? So there's a lucky cat for you. I feel like there's a little bit more independence in your career. Um, also, I feel like you're putting your own needs first. If you think about the energy of a cat, they do not extend their energy until they have looked after themselves, okay? So I do feel like though you get a bit more freedom to roam perhaps in your career. Um, I mean, curiosity is important as well. I know they say curiosity killed the cat, but I don't feel that energy. I feel like it's really positive, okay? Um, I feel like this is a lucky break. They actually want it on the Knight of Swords, okay? I would have put it on the Wheel of Fortune, but they want it on the Knight of Swords. And we've got a leaf, okay? So either you're turning over a new leaf or you feel like, um, you are, uh, you know, there is abundance coming your way and I feel like this is a time of plenty. Um, fresh new start kind of energy coming from this. Okay. So they're giving me a song. Golden brown texture like sun. Now that sounds, oh, I think. I feel like that is a um, love song. I'm not really sure, though. Not sure why they're giving me that golden brown. Is that about leaves? I don't know. I'm going to have to look up the meaning of the song. I mean, it's so familiar, uh, just like um, the actor who I can still see. Now, they're giving me a name, so I'm going to put it there, but it's not that actor's name for sure. So the, um, I would love to. Spirit, if you could please just give me the name of that actor, that would be amazing. Anyway, the name they're giving me is Nugent. Nugent. So if your name is Nugent, that's a surname. I feel like that's come up even in the last couple of weeks. Okay, Nugent. So please take it as it resonates. It may have even been for your sign. So perhaps it was meant for someone before and they didn't hear the message. So um, anyway, I'll leave that there. Um, you know what is going to happen, Capricorn? As soon as I end the reading, I'm going to know the, the person's, the actor's name. Anyway, uh, where would you like this? Where would you like this? Oh, they want it on the Eight of Wands. Okay. So definitely a message coming on in that's really going to be some really good news, some good news to do with your career. Uh, I feel like there it's attached to finances as well, money. So I'll leave it there. Uh, I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Capricorn. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is think about what it is that you want to accomplish. Really visualize it like you're doing it. 
because thoughts become things. And then as soon as you finish your visualization, I want you to say, I am a magnet for abundance. Say it out loud, wherever you are, doesn't matter. I am a magnet for abundance, okay? And it shall be so. So all you have to do is put that mantra, write it in the comments box below as well, because the two are attached. You've said it with your voice. I am is one of the most powerful things that you could ever say in your life, because whatever follows it, you are, okay? So I am, even if you are negative about yourself, I am is an affirming energy. So be, always be mindful what follows I am, okay? So I am a magnet for abundance. Put it in the comments box below and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 21st of November and I'll announce the winner in a video, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.